Hello everyone, Tina here from Paper Tray Inc. I hope your day is going fantastic. I'm so glad you're joining me. Well, I have a fun project to share with you. We're going to use some new items that arrived at the Paper Tray Inc. shop that's part of their May release. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, I hope you get a chance too because there's some fun items in there. Today we're going to be using the Life's a Picnic stamp set along with the coordinating dies. We're also going to be using a die set that is super duper fun. This is called the Picnic Time die set. Now it's just not this, it's actually a huge die set. I think there's 31 pieces in here. You can create hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries, watermelons, lots lots of picnic themed items and, and pies too. We're going to make a pie today. And We'll be using this on our card along with some border bling. This is the Skinny Star Frames border bling set. This has three frames. Now mine, I kept together. You can separate them, but you know they have the little metal marks that you can use your nippers to separate. I keep mine together because they're perfectly spaced and when I die cut these out in one shot, I have, I not only have the star frames, but I have the white solid one too. So. We're going to be using this right away. So let's go ahead and start by bringing in some cardstock. We're going to create a 4th of July framed background. I'm going to use my die and die cut out my frame three times. So I have, and I'm going to pick one of each color to create my background. So I will run all three of these through my die cut machine and I will be right back. So now I have three frames. I'm going to layer them all together to create one frame. And I forgot to punch one out. I do want to mention that all these little stars that I punched out, you can actually keep, let me show you, and create some shaker elements with it if you want it to. So keep those good little confetti pieces. I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to layer all three of these together. Okay, so now we can remove the release paper and if the foam tape is visible behind those stars, you don't have to worry, especially if you have a white background because it's going to blend right in. Now if you have some yellow foam tape, of course it's not going to work. White foam tape will. I'm just going to tack this down and now we have a little bit of dimension on our card. Okay, we're going to put this to the side and now we're going to build some picnic time fun. For today, we're going to be creating the hot dog, the pie, the watermelon, and an ice cream. I have all of my pies and my watermelon, popsicles, and hot dog all cut out and we're going to do a little ink blending on the edges. I'm going to do this just to create a little bit of depth. With my rich chocolate ink, I'm going to add a little bit of shading to my pie. I also use my dark chocolate ink for my watermelon. Okay, I do want to also mention that there are watermelon seeds or sesame seeds for the hamburger that's in their die set. Um, I kept mine together just because I didn't want to lose the piece. This is actually a slice of cheese. <laughs> but there are um, seeds for the watermelon. I'm not going to use them today just to keep the video a little bit shorter. To create the pie, I'm going to add my first pie layer. We'll go ahead and tack this down. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and add some glue behind our next layer.
Okay, so all of our die cutting is done. We're going to put these to the side. Okay, let's bring in our card base. Now I'm going to add my pie to the very bottom. And I want, I want to stretch this pie and I'm going to cut half of it off. So what we're going to do is add some glue here. And then I put a foam square right in this corner because that's where my pie is going to be overlapping. I'm going to place my pie here. And then I'm going to open my card and anything overhanging we're going to trim away. And I'm going to keep this piece that we're trimming away. We're going to put it towards the top. Let's go ahead and trim this off. And then I'm going to add this on this side with the foam square. Kind of stretching that pie a little bit. Okay, now before we add the rest of our elements, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my greeting. For my greeting, we're going to use the greeting that says Stars, Stripes, and Picnics. I think that's going to go wonderfully with our card today. Let's use True Black ink. And go ahead and stamp this. I'm going to use a blue and red marker and color in my stripes. The blue at the top. And then we'll put red at the bottom. Wonderful. I'm going to take the coordinating die and we're going to die cut out our greeting. I went ahead and put some foam tape behind my greeting and we're going to go ahead and tack this down. Wonderful. And then we can go ahead and do our little, our layering. Now I'm doing a little rearranging and I do want to add some seeds to my watermelon with my black marker and I think we're going to do a little tucking with our hot dog here. Let's go ahead and add a foam square. Kind of did a little rearranging. And I think that looks super fun. And that finishes off my card project for today. Super fun picnic -y card. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.